Have you ever had back pain? Up to 80% of us will suffer at some point in our lives from back pain. But the good news, there are effective options to treat and eliminate back pain without surgery. Dr. Todd Daniels of Baylor Orthopedic and Spine Hospital at Arlington joins us this morning. The hospital has a dedicated pain management center that focuses on taking care of your back pain without surgery. Welcome, doctor. And I've had back pain, so I know what it is to deal with. It is not fun. No. So what are the most common causes of back pain? There are certainly different causes of our back back pain. Injuries are a common cause, whether that's from sports injuries, uh, work injuries, or just our day-to-day -day activities. Uh, disorders of the uh, joints in our back of the disc with arthritis, bulging disc, disc herniations. We can develop inflammation in our back, around our joints, around the nerve roots that can give us pain. Some less common causes would be infection or autoimmune type disorders that can give us pain. There are risk factors that increase our risk to have low back pain. These include genetics, increasing age, obesity, sedentary lifestyle, uh, or cigarette smoking. These last three we can certainly uh, modify. So for folks who are sitting out there and have back pain, first of all, what are some simple things that you can do to provide relief for yourself and when is it time to see a specialist? So when you start having back pain, uh, you want to go into a relative rest. You don't want to go to complete rest. Uh, that can only worsen the conditions at times and make us weak and have a deconditioned state which can give us problems down the line. They can take over-the-counter medications such as non-steroidals, Aleve, Advil, Motrin, use Tylenol for pain. They can use ice, which is very good for back spasms and acute onset of pain in their low back. If their pain continues to persist, if the pain starts going down their legs, have any trouble with numbness or tingling in their legs or feet, any weakness in their legs, at that point it is time to go see a specialist who specializes in back care. So when someone comes to see you, how do you diagnose the problem and then how do you decide on a course of treatment? So we, we want to do a complete history and a complete exam. We will do x-rays. Usually these will help pinpoint to what we're dealing with with their back. At some times we will have to uh, go forward with MRI scans of their low back, labs, uh, or order electrodiagnostic test uh, to help us pinpoint what's causing the pain. Non-surgical options sounds really good to a lot of people. So what are some of the non-surgical treatment options? I think we start with medication to try to help decrease the pain and inflammation. Physical therapy is the key. It is the foundation for conservative care. Therapy will focus in on stretching and uh, strengthening our core of our abdomen, our oblique, and our low back. If that doesn't work, we can do injections, epidural steroid injections, joint injections, or other type pain maneuvers to help decrease the pain. So there are a lot of different treatment options that you have there certainly other are. than surgery. Yes, ma'am. Um, what does the doctor ask specifically to assess back pain? They're going to want to know what the quality of your pain. Was there a specific injury? Is the pain radiating down an extremity? Is there numbness or tingling or weakness? Does it interfere with your day-to-day -day activities or your life? Does it cause trouble sleeping? So, as I've said, I've had back pain before, and it's really debilitating. So, uh, for folks out there, what sets Baylor Orthopedic and Spine Hospital in Arlington apart from a lot of other treatment places and other hospitals? So, Baylor Orthopedic and Spine Hospital of Arlington is a specialty hospital. We take care of orthopedics and spine. Our physicians, our physician's assistants, our nurses, our physical therapists, all treat spine and orthopedic patients 100 percent, 24 hours a day. We just recently opened up a new wing that takes care of our conservative patients and our pain management patients, which helps separate them from the surgical patients in the hospital. It's what you do. It's what we do. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. you coming in this morning. If you want more information on this, you can call 855-41-ORTHO for more information or simply go to BaylorArlington.com.